Hi everybody, this is Ellie. Thanks so much for joining me today for January's monthly memory keeping spread in my Hobonichi A6. If you're new here, this is a spread that I've been doing on and off for years. Last year I was actually really consistent. And basically what it comes down to is a sticker a day in these monthly spreads to represent memories, both big and small, that happened in that month. I will hopefully do more of an introduction to this journal and setup, but to be honest, I have barely been in it so far. But this is the Hobonichi Techo in the A6. It's the Japanese full year version, the Monday start, and I have it in this Mina Perhonen anemone cover, which is beautiful. I don't have a clear cover on it right now because it's just been at my desk. But if I do take it out, I would probably put a clear cover on cover on it. I have the same clear scripts from Planner Monkey Co. I've put those in for the entire year. And let's get started. So I always do this in tandem with my planner, which is the A5 Take a Note this year. I will just keep it open in front of me so that I can refer to my little bits of memory keeping throughout the days. So I can pull one thing from here to represent in sticker form in my Hobonichi. I have my sticker binder here. I do have a whole video on this setup. It hasn't changed much. It's just been slightly reorganized and resorted as time has gone by. I have a much better handle on these stickers that I will actually use now. So I've done quite a bit of de-stashing and it feels really good to have a collection of stickers that I really, really love. So on January 1st, I didn't even use this page in my take a note. So I am just going to go right to my seasonal section. I know I have some extra holiday stickers here. Yep, yeah, there we go. Here's a happy new year one from the Coffee Monsters Co. Put that right there. On the second, we finished our 2000 piece puzzle that we worked on over the holidays. So I do have a little puzzling sticker in here from Planner Monkey Co. On Tuesday, I received some new mugs actually from someone that I follow on Instagram. He had some merch made. So let me see if I can find a mug sticker. I know I have lots of mug stickers. I just need to find them. So it's not quite that shape. I'm going to see if I can find kind of a taller, more rectangular mug, <laughs> if that makes sense. Oh, one of these will be great from Paper Bits Co. Or Actually, this is this is the right shape, but I did order two, two mugs because why get one when you can get two? No, they were limited time and I actually don't have a collection of mugs. These are, I think, the first ones I've ever bought myself, so I did get two. Oh, here we played a dice game that my brother got for Christmas, so I actually think that I have yeah, some dice stickers here. We were playing that while we were watching the Canadian World Juniors team play hockey. So I like that memory. How do these go? I think like this. We went to Starbucks for, well, a chai latte for me. I just found those within, I don't know, the last four months maybe. And my goodness, are they tasty. This is from Paper Bits Co. After I discovered my love for the chai latte, I did order a whole sheet of these stickers. Did some errands this day. Let me grab a little shopping bag. I went thrifting. I was looking for a very specific type of sweater and sweatpants, <laughs> and I've been looking for it on and off for a couple of months, and I finally found it on this day, which is always really, really satisfying. Went for a late afternoon sunny walk here. So let's see what we have for sun. This is more of a muted palette so far, so I'll go with this one. And on the 8th, I went out for breakfast and to Paper Plus Cloth. Hmm. I 
think I will put a pen for that one. Let me put a Klenna because I did pick up some Klenna's in the 0 0.3, which is my preferred size for the 68 GSM, but I prefer the 0 0.4 for the 52 GSM. Just works out like that sometimes. So this is by Salam Creative. Let me put that here. And usually what I'll do is I'll finish a week of stickers and then I will use my Le Pen technical drawing pen to write in little captions. Ooh, here, my brother's girlfriend dropped off custard tarts, which were just so delicious. I don't know if I have any more kind of custard tarts. Hmm. Let me look. I do have kind of my random sheets in here. And I know, ah, yes, this is perfect. This one won't even need a description. That speaks for itself. Here, we watched Pinocchio. I didn't realize that two remakes of Pinocchio had come out in 2022. So when my friend told me that they wanted to watch Pinocchio, I just looked on Disney, saw the new one, put it on, and it wasn't until we were halfway through that I was thinking, is this a movie that you said got really good reviews? And I ended up doing a Google search and realized that there were, in fact, two, and the Guillermo del Toro one was the one that they had been referring to. But anyways, we finished it, and I assume we will watch the other one at some point. So let me put maybe one of these guys in it up here for the wrong Pinocchio. We went out for a delicious lunch on this day, so I don't think I have anything that really shows kind of Thai food. So I will just put one of these characters who is very, very happy with their meal. Here we go. From Paper Bits Co. This looks like it was just a blah day, so... I've got a lot of good <laughs> characters for that. This one is from Once More With Love. Put it right in the center. This one also won't need a caption. Ooh, here we had donuts from a delicious bakery. They are always a treat. So let's go for this one. Here we went out as a family. Little House from Planner Monkey Co. And this day I met up with a friend in Toronto. So I have some new stickers for meetups or getting together with friends. So let me see. This one here from Happy Dea is super cute. Ooh, also super big. Okay, let me find a smaller one that takes up the entire box and I would like to write a detail or two. I could also do food because, yeah, I think I'll do this one here actually. We went to a place called Expectations, so that is a perfectly good sticker to represent that. Okay, let's get those captions in. I cleaned my desk on this day. I don't know about you guys, but that feels like it is a constant work in progress. I try to do a little bit of tidying every day, but when I have it written down, I know it means I had to do a big kind of organization, dusting, making sure everything has a home and all of that fun stuff. But yes, every time I sit down with my journal or planner, things tend to get messy very, very quickly. Oh, we watched the Matrix Resurrection Resurrections on this day. And I know it was late, but I enjoyed it. I was never extremely into the series, the first one for sure. I don't remember the second two very much, but it was just really fun to revisit. I'm a big Keanu Reeves fan, so I did enjoy that. Let's find maybe popcorn for that one. 
yeah maybe we'll go with one of these kind of lighter ones from white deer stationery that one's actually a little big to write underneath it so i will go for one of these smaller ones from once more with love there we go i had a lunch with a friend who was visiting from out of town I think I'll use one of these. I had fish tacos, which were delicious. Did a little bit of baking here. Well, I'm not going to lie. My brother did most of it and I just, you know, was there for moral support, but I was there. I did the dishes. Let me see what I want to put for that. You know what? Maybe I will put one of these croissants from the Coffee Monsters Co. There we go. We just made cinnamon twists with a Pillsbury roll of croissants. So a simple bake, but a delicious one. I watched Turning Red. That was a fun one, high energy. From Sweet Freckled Designs. Ooh, here we ran errands and then had a grilled cheese for lunch. And it's been a while since we've had grilled cheese. Usually we have whole wheat bread, but I just really prefer grilled cheese on white bread. And we had white bread and the grilled cheese, grilled cheeses? <laughs> the sandwiches were delicious. Here we had a family dinner. Let's find that here. The Coffee Monsters Co. That can go right in the middle. On these days, I was just really kind of thinking through my planner system. This was shortly before I filmed my video where I talked about feeling planner indifference or planner discontentment. So I'll link that above if you haven't seen it, but I think I'll actually just put a little washi strip over these two days. I do have this one from Planner Monkey Co, which has some planner items here, so. There we go. Oh, here I finished reading Sorcery of Thorns and I absolutely loved it. Let's put a book down for that one. And hopefully it'll be a smaller book so that I can get the title in here. Let's see. It might have to be one of these ones from Planner Monkey Co. Yeah, I'll put it right up here. Oh, and here's where I filmed <laughs> for the first time in over a month, I noted. Yes, I did not plan to take a break, but I took one. So it's good to be getting back into more of a routine and being able to film. So I will use one of these ones here. Oh, here's where we all played with that <laughs> Mr. Mouth game. I think that just will go with a heart. These ones are a little small. Let me see if the samplers have anything bigger. I do have other samplers. I need to go through this and consolidate like these here. You know, <laughs> these could all be on one little sheet. They're all from the Coffee Monsters Co. So we're looking for a heart. Or you know what actually might work. So here are hearts, but now that I'm thinking about it, if I could get a mood with of heart eyes or hmm okay no back to the original plan so that I can fit in my little caption now let's just see these are good sizes here I'll grab one of these okay we had a birthday lunch for my grandma here I just used that family sticker so maybe I will use a kind of birthday or celebration sticker here. Some of these balloons. Yes, we had Japanese cheesecake as the dessert. It's just so good. Okay, here I was playing around in Canva. I'm having a lot of fun with that. So I think I'll try and find my iPad stickers. Okay, I just moved those. I think I moved it from planning two activities let's check yes okay so that's from once more with love put that up here and i'm just going to finish these because there's only the two days left and they're looking pretty small so what do we have here okay looks like i will put 
a sticker here for laundry and a sticker here for baking because I made some banana muffins. And I'm just going to grab a couple of the small icon ones because as you can see, that is half the space as these boxes. What did I say? Oh yes, laundry. And baking. I always get confused about whether or not I put the baking stickers in food or in activities, but it's usually activities. And there. Okay, let's finish up the captions for this week here. It's a little hard for me to write the captions on camera because I'm sitting much farther away <laughs> from my journal than I usually am, but that is okay. And there we have it, a month full of memories in sticker form. I always just have so much fun doing these spreads and it's just really nice to look back on the completed pages at the end of the year. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.